the development of this project, I was helped by PCBWay, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. If you want to make your own PCB for this project or for any other electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice. They have a large online community when, where you can find the open source project and you can also share your project there. From my personal experience, I can tell you that on this community you can find many useful projects with already designed PCBs from uh, where you can place an order directly. To make an order for our custom PCB, we need to click on Quote Now. On the right side you can see the place for ordering the PCBs for selected parameters. And on the left there are additional options to tweak for your PCBs. So if you want your PCB, just type pcbway.com on your browser. Hello! Recently, quality metal detector modules have appeared on the market for a very low price. Almost no knowledge of electronics is required to make the final product. Uh, this time, I will present you one such module and I will try to briefly capture its features. The module is sold under the name Impulse Free and, it is, and its price on eBay is about $45. It arrives nicely packed and protected from mechanical damage very quickly, very quickly in about 15 days from Kazakhstan to Macedonia. The device is compact and solidly built and the main panel is only slightly larger than a LCD screen. On the front there are two large buttons through which we perform all the necessary settings. As I mentioned before, in order to put the metal detector into operation it is necessary to solder only six wires. Uh, two from the power supply, two from the speaker and two uh, from the coil. The supply voltage should be around 12 volts, 3 or 4 lithium batteries connected in series or a lead battery 12 volt. Let me mention that it is very important to pay attention to the polarity of the battery uh, because in case of a mistake it is very easy to permanently damage the device. The coil is identical to one I use in my do-it-yourself pulse induction metal detectors and consists 24 turns of an amulet copper wire with a diameter of 0.4 to 0.6 mm. The diameter of the coil is 20 cm. This coil dimensions represents a kind of compromise is in relation to coils specialized for detecting small objects, which are mostly of small diameter, and those made for detecting larger massive objects at a greater distance. In this, the diameter can be one meter on or more. In this particular case, I'm using three lithium batteries connected in series so that the voltage is approximately 12 volts. Also in the package I receive small speaker, uh, 8 ohms, 0.5 watts. The detector worked immediately after switching on, but only required some adjustments. Most of the time during operation the display shows the, the main screen. This is KA, KB, signal value, uh, sensitivity, filter type, power of the metal detector, uh, light icon and battery level. It is necessary to press this button after switching on as well as in case of signal drift, increased noise and false positive. To enter the settings menu you need to hold down the A button for a few seconds. Further with, but with buttons I, A and B I used to select a category. I will choose a filter category. Now you can change the parameters of the current menu item with log press of key A. I choose filter F3. To exit the current menu, 
uh, hold down the B button for a few seconds. Now to return to the main screen, you need to hold down the B button again for a few seconds. And now let's see how the detector reacts in real condition in the air. <laughs> 